So I'm new to Mortal Kombat. I'm largely a Street Fighter player, especially since Street Fighter 6 was released this year, but Mortal Kombat 1 looked too good for me to skip out on. I know I'm pretty late to the party, but honestly, it just took me some time to finally get around to buying this thing. I didn't want it to turn into just another fighting game in my Steam library that I only ever play for the training mode. But I'm happy to say that I've been enjoying it much more than that since my purchase. First of all, the story mode in this game is incredible. I have a very small amount of insight into the story of previous Mortal Kombat games, Games, but even with what I did know, the story went so hard. The restarting of the universe and stuff really made this a good first Mortal Kombat game for me to get into. Being interested in the story and the characters more than I ever have been before now really helps me get into a fighting game because jumping into it, I already knew who I wanted to try out. Anyway, so I beat the story mode, which I won't be talking about in this video. Then I finished all the tutorials in this game so that I could spend over 70,000 coins on this shrine thing to unlock customization items. And then I immediately started fucking around with characters that I thought were cool in the combo trials. I mean, if I'm gonna get into this game, I'm gonna wanna at least have a couple combos down. And then this spiraled into me completing every single character's combo trials other than Lee Mei. For some reason, her final combo just didn't click with me. Like, you have to just juggle as high as possible, use the assist at the perfect time, and like forward dash three or four times within the combo? I don't know. I just wasn't really able to get this fireball to hit most of the time, and if I did, I'd miss the forward dash to finish it off. I nearly pulled my hair out doing this one. After experimenting a little bit more though, I just knew that I was going to be most interested in playing Sub-Zero. His mid-combo freezing stuff is just way too cool to look at and not play, even if his damage is simply much lower than the rest of the cast. These two numbers really don't match up at all. And obviously, I was able to find some pretty cool stuff. I've had a really good time playing Sub-Zero, and honestly, about 40% in a combo really isn't that bad to me. I can deal with the damage being lower than other characters if it means I can still take 30 to 40% off my opponent in one opening. But then it comes to finding that opening. Look, I know I went through all the tutorials for the coins at the start of my journey here, but it didn't even nearly prepare me for how facing an opponent would be. Finding an opening in this game was actually much harder than I thought it was going to be until I discovered down one. But even then, the frame data in Mortal Kombat 1 just feels so strange to me having never really played an MK game before now. Like, I mean, the fastest normal characters seem to have in this series is 8 frames. It's very different than what I'm used to. It just makes it feel really unnatural for me getting into it, but even since these recordings, I've gotten much more used to it. Just the natural growing pains of learning a brand new fighting game, I guess. The main thing I'm happy about in the online mode of Mortal Kombat 1, though, is the fact that the ranked mode just straight up dumps you into the lowest rank and forces you to climb. This means that instead of getting my ass beat in casual fights, because apparently everyone in casual is much better than me, I was able to find people that were basically all as new as I was. Some people mashed buttons, and others were a little more knowledgeable or defensive, but it really did make for quite a bit of fun. After finding about a 50-50 win rate within my matches, I decided to look back at the combo trials with Sub to see if there are any combo options that I wasn't using, or maybe get a couple ideas to keep the knowledge flowing. And there were! I realized if my opponent was in the corner, I could add a freeze to the end of this long ass combo I put together for extra damage. I also realized that since I wasn't really using my assist character to extend combos, I would switch to Serena for now because she's probably the easiest assist in the game to find combo extensions with. And then I realized something completely new. This combo trial no longer works. Yeah, so MK1 got an update about a month after it came out and shortly after I got my hands on the game that seems to have broken this trial for Sub-Zero. It's almost like this EX Ice clone isn't even meant to connect anymore. Even the combo demo can't finish this combo, but it's cute to watch him try. Messing with it further, I realized I wasn't able to find a single way to get this move to work properly. Normally you bounce from one clone to the other and then freeze on the third one, but now the opponent seems to phase right through the second one no matter the setup I try to find. I thought this was really interesting, especially because I haven't found anybody else online talking about this. There may be other combo trials that have been broken by this patch on different characters by changing certain things or whatever, but I haven't really been looking into them as I've already completed completed all of them since before this patch hit. Overall, this game feels pretty slow. It becomes kind of fast-paced in the mental department as I'm consistently trying to find out which parts of which strings are meant to be blocked low or high, but 
That's probably because I come from Street Fighter, where only aerials and certain grounded moves are meant to be allowed to hit overhead on low blocking opponents. Aside from the combos though, I really like the slow, throw something out and find something that works kind of gameplay. Combos in this game are cool. Mix ups in this game will always hit me the first time, but learning about it all has been a blast. The one thing I really didn't like to learn about was that unlocking customizations for characters that I don't own means that this notification here will never go away, and I just kind of can't believe that. But my experience has been very positive, and I intend to play more Mortal Kombat 1 in the future. If you like this video, feel free to drop a like and maybe subscribe for more fighting game content. I actually have another fighting game video in the works right now as you're watching this one, which I am very excited to release, so keep an eye out. Until next time, my name is Milo, and I'm out.